one of my personal favourites. Uh, it's Mondo Macabro. And it's basically a weird and wonderful cinema from around the world by Pete Toombs. And it basically covers, uh, yeah, strange movies, horror movies, that kind of thing from around the world. I mean, on the back it says it contains the Turkish version of Star Trek, Indonesian torture scenes in which the victim sniffs smelly shoes, the curious Dr. Hump or Bruce Lee versus the gay power, uh, Kung Fu fighting gorilla flicks from Southeast Asia, song and dance version of Dracula from India. So it's just a wicked book. I love this book. It's not that thick, but it's just a great uh, uh, book to own on horror cinema. And um, one that doesn't really, you know, get that much exposure, but it's a great book. Basically what it does is it goes through uh, certain regions. I'll, I'll just see what we've got. We've got Hong Kong, the Philippines, Indonesia, India, Turkey, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, Japan. Yeah, just a wonderful book. And as you can see there, there's a few colour inserts, mostly black and white, but still a great book. I really love this one, so if you can get your hands on it, essential purchase, definitely. Um, next up, I consider this one uh, an essential purchase, but tread carefully with this one because there's a lot of spoilers in this book, but it's the uh, Overlook Film Encyclopedia. And in Britain, I think it's called the Orem um, Guide to Horror Movies or something like that. Now, this is one, I saw this one as a kid, like I used to go to the uh, library and always rent this book out. And, uh, yeah, one day I was able to buy it for myself, so I'm very happy. Basically what it is is just goes through, uh, I think it starts um, from the dawn of cinema and just reviews basically any horror film you can think of. There's, of course, many uh, that aren't in there, but for the most part, staggering the amount of uh, movies he was able to cover. And, uh, yeah, as I said, it's got a lot of spoilers in there, so maybe you'd want to watch the movies before consulting it, but just a great guide. And this one's, like, the review's very in-depth, very intelligent, so great book. Um, if you can get your hands on it again. This one's out of print, I think, so, yeah, great book. And uh, friggin' heavy again, I think. I'll just check how many pages it is. It's around 500 pages, and... Yeah, kill a cat with this one too, just like the um, Nightmare USA. But yeah, great book, so get that one. Yeah, sure, the camera shake when I put that down. Um, this one's Slime Time, or A Guide to Sleazy Mindless Movie Entertainment by Stephen Push Puchas. Oh, I can't pronounce his name. Well, I'm not even going to have a go. But um, there's a revised version of this book out. Um, contains more reviews, so if you get this one, go for that. I think it has a, uh, the cover's got a doctor on it. It's kind of red, grain, black cover, so this one's got um, Knights of Terry or Burial Ground on the front. But, yeah, same kind of thing. Basically, um, it goes through all these weird, strange movies, and you get a pretty in-depth review of them. It doesn't cover everything. This one skips a lot, but, um, yeah, the reviews are very funny in this one. Maybe not an essential purchase, but if you can find it, it's a great fun read. So, yeah, if you can get your hands on it, grab that one. Not too much, though, for that one. Still great book. Um, this one uh, is Research Incredibly Strange Films. Now, this is like a, I think it's like a series of books, but this one was just on strange movies. And uh, basically what this one is is, Interviews with uh, famous directors, uh, well, underground directors in the horror uh, industry. There's Frank Henenlotter, so uh, Basket Case, Brain Damage, uh, Frank and Hooker. Uh, it's got Larry Cohen in there. God Told Me To. Uh, what else has he done? Q, The Winged Serpent. Um, yeah, it's just a great little book. It's even got Herschel Gordon-Lewis in there. And uh, who is it? It's another filmmaker of similar stature. Uh, what's his name? Russ Meyer. So, yeah, great little book. David Friedman. Just a great uh, book for covering those. Yeah, maybe the uh, the films and directors that don't get enough exposure again. And this is from the early 80s. So, uh, yeah, it might be harder to get. Um, but it's still a great book if you can get your hands on it. I really recommend this one. I'd, I'd consider this one an an essential purchase just because uh, the interviews are so great and 
the directors they interview, yeah, like as I said, they don't get enough exposure. So great little book there. Um, this one's a recent one again. Book of the Dead, uh, or the Complete History of Zombie Cinema by Jamie Russell. And uh, yeah, as you can probably guess, it covers zombie movies, but thick, pretty thick book there. And um, yeah, it basically chronicles the history of zombie movies and cinema. Gives you a yeah about the roots of the genre, where it came from, its evolution, and in the back there's a review a review section of uh, well, all the zombie movies uh, this guy could uh, think of. It's pretty much all of them, I'd say. And uh, yeah, it's a great little book. Um, great reviews. Um, look at those colour inserts. Tombs of the Blind Dead. Great movie. Just beautiful book. So um, yeah, grab this one if you see it. I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, I, I'm on the brink of saying essential purchase, but yeah, I'd say an essential purchase for zombie fanatics. Yeah, dream come true, basically. Great book. Um, this one's not really horror movies, but if chins could kill the Bruce Campbell um, autobiography, very funny. Um, a lot of people probably own this one, but yeah, it's basically uh, uh, Bruce Campbell from uh, the Evil Dead movies, all that kind of thing. Probably biggest B movie star out there, just um, telling us about his life basically. And as I said, very funny. Um, doesn't take himself seriously, and um, this is the revised edition, so it's got um, um, segments on um, his tour across America, that kind of thing. It's a bit longer. Great book. Um, very funny. Not an essential purchase. Bruce Campbell fans, of course, you're going to buy this one, but yeah, I think it's a great book just to read. It's a very fun read, so yeah. And lastly, we have... Holy shit. Jesus, I was going to go on to the, the last book there, but the whole table just got taken out under the weight of the freaking books I've been putting on it. The computer went off. Fucking luckily I caught it, but oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I can't really pan around to show you, but it's basically destroyed my table. Anyway, um, Immoral Tales. Now, uh, I can't believe that. Anyway, Immoral Tales. Again, by Pete Toombs and Cathal Thomas. Pete Toombs also done that Mondo Macabro book. And this one, basically, same kind of thing. Covers obscure um, international movies, but this one focuses on Europe. So, uh, yeah, I'll just have a look in here. Um, uh, who have we got? Jess Franco, Gene Rowland, Valerian Borowalski. I can't pronounce his name, but he'd done The Beast and all those kind of films. So, yeah, great. Uh, book for lovers of European cinema and like the previous book the writing is just wicked in this book I really like it really intelligent just a great book to own so this one's a definite essential purchase and that's gonna have to uh, conclude that um, video uh, I'm gonna have to try and uh, get this room in order again um, anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it